okay, so the Lakers might have a serious problem. And we knew going into the season that the season would start in one of two ways. Either the Lakers were going to look brilliant out of the gate or the Lakers would look bad out of the gate. And the latter has happened. I mean, the Lakers are now 0-2. They lost to the Warriors and they basically got blown out by the Phoenix Suns and embarrassed in front of their home crowd. I mean, the final score was closer than how this game felt, but this game was pretty much one-sided. The Lakers... The oldest roster in the NBA. A lot of people questioned if this experiment was going to work or not. Obviously, there's a lot of basketball to be played. There's a lot of time to tell if this thing worked or not. But there's going to be some issues. And there's going to be a lot of ups and downs with this team. There's going to be a work in progress. Because anytime you construct a roster of not only of older players, but of characters and guys who do have egos, you are going to run into some issues. So before we get into the biggest talking points, I just want to talk about, you know, some of the stat lines here. Russell Westbrook, he was one assist shy of a triple double, but again, he struggled from the field, six of 15, three of eight from the free throw line and all of three from three. There's been talk on whether or not the Lakers should just bring Russ off the bench and let him play with that second unit so he could be more free. We'll see what happens there. But as it stands right now, the Lakers are continuing to let Russ run the point. I don't know why the Lakers are starting DeAndre Jordan. Doesn't make sense to me. Uh, LeBron James did have 25. Anthony Davis had 22. And Melo had 16 from off the bench. Other than that, Lakers got nothing else. And again, they were just beat up by a superior Phoenix Suns team that continues to get laughs in against this Lakers team. But there's two incidents that we're going to talk about right now. So we're going to first start with what got everybody talking. Anthony Davis and Dwight Howard right before halftime getting into it. Now, Davis actually, I believe, pushes Dwight Howard back a little bit. And he he points at him like, dude, like, don't mess with me like that. And to the point where the Lakers players had to get involved and separate both of them. Now... Who knows what was said? Who knows what truly went on? But that's not a good look at all. And you know LeBron James prides himself on keeping his team together and and keeping the continuity of his teams very, very strong. So the fact that Anthony Davis and Dwight Howard are already getting into it, it's, it's not a good look. Now, Dwight Howard has a reputation of being a pest. I mean, this is a guy that cannot stay out of trouble, which is why he's been on so many different teams throughout the last couple of years. And if you are Dwight Howard, what the hell are you doing getting under the skin of Anthony Davis? I mean, he is so valuable to this Lakers team, and you barely made this team. So if anything, he should be paying all the respect to Anthony Davis, and he should be grateful that he can even share the court with Anthony Davis. So that's on Howard, in my opinion. Now, we don't know what was said and and what happened, but odds are it was Dwight Howard doing the instigating, and Anthony Davis just reacted like how everybody else would. So that's not a good look for the Lakers. And then this to end the night. I don't know what the hell happened here and what Rondo was thinking, but this is just, I've never seen anything like this. You can see Rondo and a fan jawing at each other. And then Rondo points a gun gesture at the fan as the fan is later ejected. The fan has no right to touch Rondo here, but at the same time, Rondo... There is no excuse why he should even be doing that to begin with. I mean, he's literally pointing a gun gesture at the fan. So by nature, the fan's just going to reach out and hit his hand. I mean, who wouldn't? So crazy stuff. Who knows what's going to happen in the wake of that? And if Rondo is going to be disciplined, I mean, he should. Because I've literally never seen anything like that. And like, how can you have a player pretend to point a gun at somebody and pretend like he's going to shoot the guy. There's a lot going on with the Lakers right now. I mean, are they going to figure this out and make things work? Probably, most likely. I mean, they always seem to go through these stretches during the season. But all I'm going to say is this. They might have a big problem going forward with all of these egos, characters, and age on this team. So we'll see if they make it work and uh, we'll see how this ages because, I mean, if the Lakers go on to win games and end up winning the championship, then all this is just going to be nonsense but I think it's going to be a lot tougher than what many people think a lot of people were quick to crown this Lakers team as the darlings in the west I was and I don't have this Lakers team getting in the finals we'll see what happens but uh, yeah what is your take on this what's your reaction to the Lakers slow start 
We'll see what happens. But one thing's for sure. LeBron right now, he ain't doing a lot of smiling. That's for damn sure.